Yeah, my bad. What's up, guys? It's Aaron Barton, Glenn Christensen, and Mike O'Keefe, and we're out here on S S Grenada Lake. Uh, tell, show us our problem in the net, Glenn. What we got there? Oh, and I'm still turning circles. So we got crappie after crappie after crappie, and then a white bass, right? That's pretty slick. All right, well, is there anything I can do to help, man? Uh, in terms of the crankbait or otherwise. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, wait. All right. Are you still rolling on that other one? Uh, no, it went out a little bit far. I'll crank it in in a minute. All right. All right. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep rolling on film here for a second. See if we can go live action. I promise in a second I'll start paying attention to driving. Uh, yep. Ooh, boys. Oh, lucky day. Go. Oh, that one. Hey, I'm sorry y'all aren't catching any fish. Oh, fish on, fish on, too. And even, look, it could be the smallest fish. Half the time, it's not even a fish. Half the time, you'll say fish on before me. I'm still going to freak out and get excited. And like, oh, fish, fish on, fish on. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's because I have my dream job. Good for you. I'm sorry. I have my dream hobby. Jobs should pay, you know, enough money to support your family. Girl. I've had my dream hobby. Boys. Y'all are harassing my Mississippi crappie, and I love it. Look at this guy. Right there, fish on. What you want, number two set Hell. Uh, I mean... I don't know if that's the first. I would say everything between 125 and 190, just kind of based on that little run. And what we'll do, fellas, is we will go up here another. You might have a fish on your four. Uh, if you just hold it up to the sky, almost try to point the rod tip to the front of the boat, a lot of times that will bring their head up. Um, Oh. Good. All right, so I want to go up. Leaning. I want to go up here about another five minutes, but I don't want to go five minutes without a bite, and then just keep going because what we can do is we can reel everything in. We can turn around, put you boys. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Here, internets. We're catching them on the front, catching them on the back. Now, boys, you. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's all right. Just keep on coming. I would. Perfect. Why was I not on Facebook Live? I said I was going to be on Facebook. Here, let me help you with some slack. Are you? Yes, that'd be great. That's great. Thank you. What? Now you got one too? Can I help with anything? Uh, okay. 
if it if he's badly hooked, uh, those short fish today are our keepers next year. So I will happily invest the time so that you guys can get your baits back out. All right, there he goes. See ya. How many are not fishing? Or how many are not at depth, rather? Right no, you're saying one of them, right? All right, so we've got spikes. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that one has a dorsal fin. That one's gonna be need to be another picture fish, please. That's a slab. Dub, it's not dogs out time. Come on now. Uh, if you would, yes, sir. give me your phone. I'm gonna take this picture on your phone. Um, and then I'm gonna need you to airdrop that to me. Please and thank you. Okay. Fish on. I hold them a little bit closer to me, but not like obnoxiously. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, look how handsome you look. Look how big that fish looks. That's yeah. that picture. Awesome. If you ever get on Tinder, that needs to be the first picture you A B test. Look at these, look at these sportsmen. They said, hey, we don't really have a great way to deal with these fish, so rather than keep them for a stringer pick, they're letting them go. That's gentlemanly. Fish on, fish on, three. And the crappie gods are rewarding them with a charm. Now, I want your uh, short rod to always be closest to the motor. Oh, that's right. I remember you said that. Yes, sir. I'll move back. That's all right, please. Oh. You got a catfish. Catfish on a crankbait. Oh, no. Did it turn into a crappie? It did turn into a crappie. Oh, Now, if you can, let's see. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that picture and then now turn and put the fish in between you and I. There you go, hold him a little bit closer towards me. Now, let's make it a broadside. And then also, you've got your fingers wrapped around the gills, as few of your fingers as I can see. There we go. I'm gonna wait for him to unflex. All right, I wanna show you this. So that's, that's the first picture. 
Look at that's the same fish. Mm. Anyways, nice fish. We got a fish on? Yeah. The secret of the pro shit. It's copyrighted and how to make a fish look big. You got a fish on too, it looks like. Two, it looks like. Maybe not. If you, okay. I trust you. Oh, you got another bait or just that bait? All right. I'm a nobody, and I can post shit, and you can see people like, man, I heard Aaron Barton said, I was like, oh my God, Aaron Barton, that dumbass, I can't believe he said that. <laughs> fish on? That was the one I thought had a fish. Uh, all right, now, Dr. O'Keefe, yes, would you please collapse your rod down and put the three in two and then the one or the three and four and then the one and two leave that one in what? oh i just want always to deploy except for the black rod always to deploy inside out and so if you catch them on a gray rod just move them all to the center that's what i understood however we've gone almost three or four minutes without a fish. Oh, do you have one on your one rod? Here, let it, uh, let it stop bumping. Like once you, all right, I'm gonna slow the boat down. Now tell me if that one rod has a fish. Okay. If it doesn't, we'll leave it in anyway. Then it is a fish. You caught a propeller. <laughs> I was wondering why those fish act so dizzy and stupid when they get in the boat. Because they do the, we do the same thing with them before we set the quail out. Spin them around about 200 times. I do. I know it's a cropper. In just a second, he's going to stop spinning. Well, he's, because, hell, you could, yeah, he's flopping. We had a kid fight a fish yesterday for almost 15 minutes. Hey, take your rod on four and put it down in the water so he can go over your line. Now, if he's gill hooked down in there, uh, it doesn't do much good. Oh, whoa, look at this guy. Ice water in his veins. Look at that fish, man. That's a great fish. May I see your phone to take a picture of you with that fish, please? And why don't you go ahead and press the uh, button on your outside rod so it can be getting to depth. All right, Glenn, you had mentioned that maybe this might be close to one of your bigger crappie, but is that a personal best, or tell me about that fish? Uh, and if it's not, that's cool. Right up there. Right up there. All right, well, let's get you a personal best, Sam. So, yeah, toss him. 
What, what does it need to be? 14, 15, 16? 23. 23? Okay. Oh, fish on, fish on. Troll through the shad up here on the surface, and then we're going to go that plus about another hundred yards. I want to reel everything in. I want to go right back to where we start. Actually, as little wind as we so have. Should I just leave this one? No, I, we're about to catch a couple more, so I'd go ahead and. But only run it out to about 75 because those shad are on the surface. Back over here. No. Fellas, why don't y'all go ahead and reel them in? Let's turn around and try to take advantage of that action before it goes away.
last two guys. All right, dogs out, 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 dogs out. You have one dragon on the side over here. Where is it? Oh, can you put it back in the boat? Or back in the water, rather? Dogs out. Yeah.